In this video, I'm gonna show you not to screw up on your first week on a programming job. You reached the right video, let me explain. This video was brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one source to learn programming fast and get to that six figure salary you desire. Our academy have a wide range of courses, including our 30 day developer lunch pad, our programmer interview course, also our mentorship program, and much, much more. When you sign up for our free community, you get access to like-minded professional developers who want to take your career to the next level and will provide you access to all the resources that our academy can provide. So let's take the next step and sign up for our seven step free programming guide to really start to take your career to the next level. So let's click the link below to get started. I'll see you guys in the guide. All right, guys, I want to give you some details on your first week of programming. A lot of you guys trying to get ready to start uh, learning how to program and you're getting your first job. And you just want to have a better understanding of what to expect your first week or you just want don't want to screw up and cause people to or cause you to lose your job. And now you're back at square one and give you some reasons. Um, well, some things you can do to really make this process, this experience a whole lot better for you and to really put yourself in a position. I made some notes here so everything go good and then we can kind of go from there so guys let me tell you a story first of all when I first start programming I used to come in and just think hey I can solve every project I can solve every project I'm gonna I'm be that person y'all need to be successful needy 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 don't do that guys because at the end of the day you want to go with the flow you want to just fit in and um, just go with the flow normally when you first come in that week you're gonna have either your hiring manager or somebody on your team kind of giving you the general consensus of everything and really putting things in perspective for you so as you gather this information if they ask you to do something specifically then yeah and then go from there don't volunteer yourself for stuff too much um, this could lead down a path that we'll talk about in the uh, later video but you want to just take it all in first and just really kind of fit in lay be laid back but helpful at the same time find that really good balance guys it's nothing like a needy person coming in trying to take over the whole department Department saying I can do this I can do this I can do this either one you're gonna find that team member who's gonna take advantage of you or number two you're gonna alienate everybody because they're gonna think you kind of come in and check their job a good balance is somewhere in the middle um, to where they know hey if they really need you they'll come at you come and um, get it from you but they don't want to just take advantage of you too so guys it's very important that you guys kind of have that in perspective in your first week as an SQL developer and really put things in perspective for you so number one guys day one day one is probably gonna be a ton and ton and ton of paperwork HR department this is who you're gonna probably see most of your day one when you are working with the HR department tons of paperwork tons of questions some people do questionnaires some people do um, your um, health stuff as far as just social security numbers all that so that day one bring your social security cards and identified information you should have your driver's license your birth certificate Kit. any um, uh, records that you have that you think you may need so security card birth certificate um, even your spouse information so that you can already have that stuff on site most of the time they get you to bring it home and you can fill it out at the house but you know just have the information on you that day just so that they at least they can get their copies and all that stuff and you'll be good to go and Another side of probably the second half of day one, introduction to your coworkers. Um, you're gonna be around these people, hopefully for the long term, and you know, you're gonna be in the restroom or the um, break room and they're gonna see a new person around. You're gonna be doing, getting some introductions. Um, people from your department, people from other departments. So this is mostly what you're gonna be getting into your day one. If you're working for a good company, they just do a general introduction with everybody to just take you around and whoever's there hey this is Rod he's our new developer he's gonna be helping you guys out hey 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 you're not gonna remember half of their names which is okay you know just put a put a face um, with a name so that if you guys see them or uh, they see you in a break room they don't they don't know if you're a complete strain they know you're the new guy so that's probably what you're gonna be doing day one 
So let's fast forward to day two, guys. Day two is actually where you're gonna start getting into somewhat of some computer coding stuff. You're gonna actually get limited access to the system and also discover your team workflow. So just say, for example, you're gonna get access to um, ticketing system. They're gonna have your AD account, email accounts, um, give you access to the test environment, things like that. So you can start to really figure out which tools they use and kind of get a chance to at least generally look around and kind of assess with everything they have that you can work with. Workflow is critical guys, especially with your team. And um, I'll get into this in a later point, but it's, it's good to have that general understanding of what tools you have to work with and really kind of put things in perspective for you. So kind of be aware of that. Day two is, I would suggest you in day two, just to kind of, is, is more of a discovery day. And you're gonna over, you're gonna be looking over somebody's shoulder probably, especially if you're a junior developer. Um, even if you're a senior developer, you're probably gonna be working with somebody there to say, they're gonna be, you're gonna be over looking over their shoulder saying, do this, do this, do this. Hey, could you do this little part of it? And then kind of work from there. So you're gonna be primarily working with somebody else. I talk about this in my seven step guide. So go ahead and pick this up guys. Um, when you start to get into the real world situations and other characteristics um, of a developer, it's important that you guys know this because you have proven that you know how you've learned a level of code that they're comfortable with. Um, you got through the job prep and now um, since you got to um, start to advance your career, other characteristics are going to come into play. We talk about that in my seven step guide. So get that. And if you haven't, or if you already have signed up for my seven step guide, check out the premium courses, guys. I got a 30 day lunch plan course that's going to help you take your career to the next level. So day three we're sitting in here we, where well, we're coming in uh, day three is actually going to be the day that they let you kind of have a little bit of independence this is the day that you um, you two days in they got a chance the introductions you met probably most of your actual it team members now it's time to actually get into the ticketing system this is where the, if they have a good ticketing system this is where you can kind of get a general idea of what's coming in as far as just requests and then you can kind of mentally know hey i need Need to learn more about this or I need to learn less about this and kind of have a general idea of the uh, of the actual flow this is also where you can start looking at the project management system hey what tasks they have out there what are they doing uh, what type of projects they're currently working on what have they worked on in the past you should have access to search current projects past projects and sometimes they do future projects it depends on the company but you know future projects you're not going to have a ton of information out there but you should have a general idea of what's coming at least on a project basis as far as just task guys so this is very critical this day because this is the day where you start to split the high value developers and the low value developers because the low value developers are just going to sit there and just get their current tickets and wait on somebody feeding them um, work and then they kind of go from there high value developers gonna assess the situation gonna really figure out okay they get x amount of tickets i think i'll be working on this but we'll see and um, i'll just be proactively learning this because i see they get at least eight tickets on this every week so it's a high chance i'm gonna be working on this this what separates the high end high value developers from low end developers guys this day three right here is going to be critical and same with the project management system guys and you're going to start getting to smaller tickets too just solving small things maybe hey i need a, i need a this uh, column added to a report or hey i need access to the test environment could you check this store procedure just to make sure these lines of codes not uh failing could you go through that little stuff like that nothing major just something just to kind of get your feet wet and make sure you're comfortable moving around in the tools and the ticketing system and the project management system Number four, this is where it's gonna be a people day. You're gonna learn through your ticketing system, they assign certain tickets to certain people. So you're gonna be like, okay, he's the web developer, he's the SQL developer, he's a technicians over here, this is the boss, you don't assign him anything unless it's just something um, from a uh, contractual perspective. Um, this weird guy over here don't do anything, so don't assign him anything because he got 12 tickets. This is where day four is gonna be the people. And also, 
as you're doing these tickets, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have a requester on these too. These are typically your end user who either submit the ticket or is gonna be the um, stakeholder on a project. So you gotta get to know these people. And that's the good thing about IT. You're gonna, uh, over time, you're gonna work with a lot of people if you are a high value developer. So it's good to know who the, the, the key uh, power users are, what we call them in most companies, that's gonna be helping you move your projects forward. Day five, guys, just have a really good understanding of the entire workflow of your team, your company roles, um, the key areas, just having a good general understanding of the actual workflow in general. I think that's a good successful week one for somebody. So week two come in, it's no, hey, let me learn how to get into the system. Let me, have, it's gonna be more specific as you go, as you work on specific projects and specific tickets. And over time, you're not gonna learn everything about everything everybody but you have should have a general understanding let me start here first and then go from there or let me start there you shouldn't be in the dark at this point you should be able to identify where you need to go and all that good stuff guys so at the end of the day guys don't try too hard don't be that person who come in and, and just trying well first of all don't don't operate in the extremes don't be the lazy person who don't want to do shit. but you want to do the you want to be the person who uh you don't want to be the person who come in and just let me help let me help, let me help. You don't want to be on the extreme. So that's what I mean by that. Find a good middle ground. Uh, be laid back. The work's going to come to you through the ticketing system or through somebody just needs some general help. So like, subscribe to the content. If you guys agree with me, comment below. If you disagree with me, comment below. Let's, heart, let's start a conversation. If you haven't already, go check out my premium courses, that 30-day lunch pad course, guys. Go get that. Take your career to the next level. And I'll put a link right here for my seven steps free guide if you haven't got that already. I'll see you guys in the courses. Peace.